What's up my people? Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Click that top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel, right? And also give this a thumbs up. If you don't see the option because sometimes I premiere the video and it hide the option for give the video a thumbs up. So if I premiere this one and you see the option hide, there's an X on your right hand side. Just click on that X there and you're going to see the option for give this live a thumbs up. Please and thanks. Give me a thumbs up on that one, you right? So here you want people, as usual, me have some things I'm going to share with you guys. And we're going to kick it off with a robbery, killing spree, we go on in a Manchester, right? Manchester men arrested, charged following crime spree. Three men who allegedly went on a crime spree that left two persons, DEAD and two business robbed, have now been charged, the Manchester police confirm. They are 24-year-old Bynes, 26-year-old Ocean Reed, and 25-year-old Tario Wright. According to the police report, about 10 p.m. on October 13, Brown Reed and Wright and another man, all armed with handguns, started their rampage at a business on the Savoy Main Road. They entered an establishment, held up the patrons and robbed them of cash and other personal belongings. 30-year-old Dwayne Carter, otherwise called Duns, a construction worker of Job Lane in Christiana, was SHOT and him dropped out when he resisted one of the attackers. The GUN men then fled in a stolen motor vehicle. Approximately 20 minutes later, the onslaught continued in others field district where the men entered a second establishment and again robbed customers of cash and cellular phones after raining blows on them. So them not only rob, them not only kill, them beat up the people them too. 33-year-old farmer Tafari Barrett, also known as Fari, was SHOT several times when he attempted to flee his attackers. He was pronounced DEAD at a hospital. Brown, Reed and Wright were apprehended and taken into custody following an apparition in Cudley on Wednesday, October 18. They were charged after a number of stolen items were found in their possession and they were also recognized in an identification parade. The charges are murder, conspiracy to murder, robbery, aggravation, possession of prohibited weapon, using a prohibited weapon to commit a felony and unlawful wounding. Their court date has been finalized. The fourth is still at large and the police are appealing to him to turn himself into the nearest police station. So them youth here, them go up on the road to make a food. See? And them could have just got the place, stick up the people them, take them belongings, take with themselves. Go the next place, stick up the people them, take with them have, take with themself. One man I try to take with himself, them can him up. Him drop out. And next man, them go in they go can up that the man there. Him drop out. Them go in they go also beat up the people them. So, would I love for them find the fourth man and just send where the four of them for as long as them can possible send them away. Because they never have to do what they do. You see me I say? So people, just leave your comments in the comment section and let me know what you think. So we are going to move on, people. Right? And the next story I going to share with you, know, this I mean a Westmoreland. See? Them say, a man, the police, them all up on him following robbery and murder again. You see it? So here we go on another one here, you know, people. Several charges have been laid against 27 year old Navido Scarlett, otherwise called Nick, of York District in Bettletown, Westmoreland, for allegedly fatally SHOOTING a businessman and injuring two other persons during a robbery in the parish on October 8. Sorry, October 8. He was charged on Sunday with the MURDER, a 52 year old Tyan. Young Ming, otherwise called Ken, of Deans Valley, Westmoreland Scarlet, was also charged with robbery aggravation, wounding with intent, and using a firearm to commit a felony. The White Hand Police say about 12 p.m., Young Ming was at a store in Deans Valley when our men entered demanding money. The men opened fire at Young Ming 
and two other men before making their escape with cash and other items. The police were alerted and on their arrival, all three men were seen with GUNSHOT wounds. They were taken to hospital where Young Ming was pronounced and the others hospitalized. hospitalized. On November 1st, a team of police officers and special operation apprehended Scarlett is to be is to appear at the Westmoreland Parish Court on November 14. So another calling again, people, but the greatest thing, the more lamp and this person will do it. So again, people, like up this video, please and thanks. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. And click that tap bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So people that want to hear breaking news. And neither Jamaican overseas dash with woman. So people, I'm going to just get right in it people. Because Jan o Star, the one you sad. Jealous Jamaican man allegedly K-I-L-L ex-girlfriend in Canada. A Jamaican man living in Canada has been charged with the drop out of his ex-girlfriend just days before her birthday. Troy Moulton of Whitby, Ontario is believed to have K-I-L-L Tanya Anderson and Saturday in a jealous rage. Anderson, who was also a native of Jamaica, would have celebrated her birthday on Wednesday. According to the Durham Regional Police, approximately 9 p.m. on Saturday, Moulton arrived at its Central West Division headquarters in Whitby or Whitby, to report an incident, the conversation prompted cops to visit their home where Anderson was found not breathing. According to the police, life saving measures were performed, but Anderson was pronounced DEAD at the scene. The cops did not reveal how Anderson had been armed. However, Moulton was subsequently charged with second degree MURDER. In a post to his social media account, Moulton purportedly accused Anderson of cheating on him and kicking him out of the home where he had resided with the now deceased and her mother. To see how Tanya running me and tell me to move out, I couldn't believe I would live to see her treat me like that, the post stated. I am the husband of her and I'm in the house with her and to see her making plan with a next man for her birthday it's killing me inside and i was acting mad because of she going out with a next man and provoking me about it the post continued adding i'm sorry for k-i-l-l-i-n-g her i love her and i can't imagine her with a next man seeing so enough of them man of them need for let go of some things in a bridging if the woman don't want your bridging Move on. You have to just live with it. And make sure you live our life. You see me? I say, you have to just rough it out. I know, say, yo, me in this house with them people, yeah. But me and them, they're on a good term. And just know, say, yo, I saw it go for right now. Him saying, I was in, in the same post. Say, him try to get a place. You know what I mean? But him never get through with it. So, him have to stay in the devil house with them. You see me? Because you know, say, the mother go and pick up for your picnic. Whatever happened. You see me, even if the man did a good man, if the mother says, boy, the woman want to move on. And first of all, you can't marry to a woman and live in the same house with she and her mother. No, you can't do that, brother. You better a girl come live in a fear house with you and your mother. See, first thing you should do, you know what I mean? I find somewhere for you and your woman go live. I'll do a foreign that still. You know what I mean? The more people in our house, the more them can contribute to the bills and save a little thing. Me can't understand that still. You know what I mean? But once you see it, I get to a level where you get disrespect them type of way there. Try to move out. If you can't move out at the moment, you just go and live with it. A whole heap of woman out there in a the bedroom. Me know say, yo, watcha, your heart involved. And you know that easy for just cut it off if you love somebody. But gradually, you go get fit. You know what I mean? Move on. You see me? Just go and work with it, bridging you know, all the feet. I know say yo, I saw it go more while when you left your country and go to our next country go live with some people. You have to tough it out. Enough man go through that. You see me? So boy, him should do what him do to the woman. 
You see me? Big woman thing. A woman want to move on a fear her life. She do whatever she want to do. You see me? So he must say, boy, I'm in a house for a couple of weeks. Well, and him now consume and them something there. So it a bad him people, it a play upon him brain. I know every man strong enough, you know. So enough of them women here, me have to tell you enough and now. I know every man I go take on a bull crap when I go on with. Yeah, so I say when you not go able to trick every man and cut left them. When you not go able to this every man and cut left them. Some man can take it, them headspace can manage it. And them I go do some things out of the norm. You see me I say so just be careful. Don't lead on a man if you don't want him. And if you're over him, you make him know. I say boy, you can't go no further with the relationship because Ray Ray Ray, although some of them money, them no want done it until them want to leave. You see me? Life just mess up sometimes still. You know what I mean? What go on should go on. You see me I say, obviously this youth yeah. You know what I mean? Him brain could have take it. Him wrong for the way him do. Hope same face the consequences to him action. Condolences to the family. R.I.P. to the girl. You know what I mean? So, a new source said both Moulton and Anderson grew up in the same community in Spanish town St. Catherine and then they later migrated to Canada. Anderson leaves behind a 12-year-old son according to a GoFundMe account launch to assist her family with funeral expenses. Yeah, no, it's a sad situation, people. So, you know, just make me know what you think, yeah, man. So, here one, people, like up the video, subscribe to the channel, and, you know what I mean, let me know what you think.